Hi everyone, it's Danny. Hi. Uh, recently I got into carnivorous plants for some reason. I really like them. And about a week ago I ordered some carnivorous plant seeds off eBay and they just arrived. Um, so I thought it would be nice to make a step-by-step -step journal of how I prepare stuff for uh, growing them from seeds. Uh, from what I read, it's... Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's gonna be a tutorial, but I'm not an expert, so yeah, I'll just call it a journal for now. So what I ordered is uh, some Drosera plant seeds. Um, they're also called sundews, and they're really, really cute, really nice to grow, and the best thing, they really catch fungus gnats, and uh, I really like that. Okay, so let's start it. Um, yeah, I'm using orchid mix, and uh, you might say that it's not good. But actually, this orchid mix is horrible for orchids, or for epiphyte orchids. As you can see, it's actually peat, nothing else. So yeah, it's perfect for any other plant you might have. Not so good with orchids. And this is the brand. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna be using this soil because it's peat moss. And uh, what you do when you want to grow carnivorous plant from seeds is actually you have to rinse the peat. And uh, what that means is you don't have to wash it, but you do have to let it sit in water because carnivorous plants are very sensitive to excess nutrients, salt built-ups, uh, as their natural medium is actually very swampy and uh, very um, poor in nutrients. So, what I did was, I put some peat moss in a bowl like this, and at first, I just put regular tap water here. Now, um, I've changed this once in the last six days. It's been sitting like this in the last six days. And what this actually does, it eliminates in the water the excess nutrients the peat might have. Even though this sort of peat is poor in nutrients because it's meant for orchids, um, it's very good to actually do this rinsing and preparing of the soil. This will actually limit the amount of uh, fungus and uh, moss and um, it won't attract fungus gnats or insects as much. And it also is very very good for um, the fragile roots of carnivorous plants. So yeah, so in the past six days I've been letting this sit and soak in water and I've been, I changed the water once, but it is now time to change it with um, distilled water or purified water or demineralized water, what you can find, so that we eliminate all the excess salts in the tap water. Quick tip, if you have an aquarium, you can also do this with the very rich soils. If you're using um, soils for planted tanks, you can also do this. I did this when I had a planted tank, when I used ADA soils. ADA is so, so good, but you do have to do this. If you don't, you'll just have to make regular uh, partial water changes, like every day, because your nitrates will go up the roof. Okay, uh, quick tip uh, about a choristic uh, hobby over. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna be showing you how to change the water, how to get all the, all the peat out of this mixture here. And um, yeah, rinse it with purified water. Okay, if you like this video and you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also leave me a comment or a question or a suggestion, whatever you want, in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!